Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I thought it would be kind of a fun little activity to go through the idea of demoting one team in each Power Four conference and also elevating a team from a group of five conference to replace that team. It's the idea of potential relegation in college football. Now, obviously, when it comes to actually putting this into action in real life, it's basically impossible based on the TV contracts. And if we did have something like this, it would be a multi-year thing to where a team in a Power 5 or, excuse me, Power 4 conference, they would have to not reach a certain win total for multiple years. It would not just be based on one year. There would not be a team moving up or moving down every year. There wouldn't be that much fluidness to it. It would be a rare thing. But if a team consistently is horrible in a certain conference at a point, it, it, it might be best to possibly move them down to the group of five from the Power 4 and obviously this might not even matter in three or four years if we have a completely different ecosystem in terms of the way college football is run with how big these conferences are getting. But it's just a fun hypothetical and we're going to start in the SEC. So the team we would be basically just kicking out of the SEC is obviously going to be Vanderbilt. Now Vanderbilt is just not competitive. They are an academic school. They've got a nice baseball program. But this is just focused on football because remember, when it comes to this entire conference realignment, it is motivated strictly by football. So when it comes to Vanderbilt, we would still leave them in the conference for baseball. So they'd still be part of the SEC for baseball. But just for football, they would get demoted possibly to the Sun Belt and they would get relegated because they're just not competitive. I know they got the nice stadium upgrade on both of the end zones. You like to see something like that. It shows signs of potentially a program waking up. But the problem with Vanderbilt is they're just, it's not even like they can attempt a rebuild. The SEC is so strong. The talent disparity is so ridiculous. Even if, let's just say, they got two or three four-star players, whoop-dee-doo, you're still going to lose 10 games in that conference. They're swimming up water. When it comes to Vanderbilt's program, that's the way I would describe it. And they would have to get kicked out down to the Sun Belt. The team that would replace them, I tried to make it realistic in terms of conference locations. Obviously, the SEC, they're still exclusive to kind of the southeastern part of the United States. You could argue adding Oklahoma and Texas changes that. But still, I'm going to bring in Tulane. So Tulane gets promoted to the SEC. Congratulations to their program. They've had a great run within the last three or four years. We remember their New Year Six Bowl win against Caleb Williams and USC. That was a crazy game. But yeah, Tulane, obviously they'd probably get crushed in the SEC, but it would be pretty cool to see them compete in that conference and maybe upset a team they would certainly be a more competitive team, in my opinion, than Vanderbilt, but they'd still probably lose, I, I would say, 9-10 to 10 games playing an SEC schedule. Moving on to the Big Ten, the team that we are going to be relegating or demoting, it is Indiana. Now, you could make an argument for a few other teams, maybe Northwestern, but Nor Northwestern, they've actually been to the Big Ten title like two times in the past five years. Yes, you could argue that's because they're in the Big Ten West, but still, they're also getting a new stadium. We're going to leave Northwestern alone, and we're going to say with Indiana, the 2020 season, it was a total fluke. Outside of that, they've just been terrible in terms of their football program. They are consistently at the bottom when it comes to Big Ten recruiting classes. They just don't have the talent, and now with even more blue blood level programs coming into this conference with a USC with an Oregon, the amount of money they've invested into their program, a Washington, it's only going to get harder for Indiana to compete with how bad they are in terms of recruiting and just overall in general, the coaching change. I think with Indiana, they would be the team that would get kicked out of the Big Ten. You could also maybe argue Rutgers, and five or six years ago, it would be Rutgers, but Rutgers is showing legitimate improvement, and they've kind of had a pedigree where, you know, you go back 10, 15 years, they were decent. So I'm not going to kick Rutgers out. And the team that I would bring up, this is going to surprise people, but we're just basing this off of you can choose group of five teams. You can't pluck another team from another conference because obviously the Big Ten would probably do that. But if you can only go group of five, I'm going with South Florida because I think the Big Ten wants inroads in the state of Florida. You could argue, well, what if they just stole you know, Miami from the ACC? If the ACC implodes, I get it. 
but this is just a hypothetical to where all the teams remain in their respective conferences. This is a strategic move by the Big Ten with South Florida being where they are located, getting a new stadium. We know they don't have a good football program. They'd probably lose 10 or 11 games in this conference, let's be honest. But it would certainly be a very random addition, South Florida joining the Big Ten and having to face, you know, Ohio State, Michigan. I think it'd be pretty cool, but obviously they'd get crushed in many of those games. Uh, moving on to the ACC, the team that we are kicking out it was between Wake Forest and Boston College, but it's got to be Boston College. You know, Wake Forest has actually had some decent years. Boston College recently, they're basically a 6-6 six and six team in a really weak ACC. You look at their stadium, it looks like Group of Five level. And this is just based off of football, but it's not like their basketball program is any better. So Boston College, they would get booted on down. Maybe they could join the MAC or something. All right, let's not let's not discourage Boston College too much. But yeah, they would move down. And then the team that would get vaulted up, believe it or not, and people may say it's not realistic, but this actually is very realistic based on how the conference is aligned right now. It would be San Diego State joining the ACC. For Boston College, they want more teams out west to mitigate the travel problems right now with the imbalanced conference. You've got Stanford, you've got Cal, you've got SMU in the middle of the country. You need at least one, maybe two teams out west. Now you could argue, why not go with a Boise State instead of San Diego State? They probably would be better in terms of being competitive on the field. San Diego State is more viable. They're more attractive in terms of expansion. In terms of their TV market, where they're located, I think they would take San Diego State and they would join the conference with Boston College leaving. It really would help them in terms of the travel of the conference. Obviously, San Diego State would be facing both Stanford and Cal every single year, so you wouldn't have much travel there, and then you would only have to travel far east, you know, maybe two or three trips a year and play multiple road games during each of those trips. Moving on to the Big 12. So this is by far the hardest conference to do just because all of these teams are so even. You know, there's no great teams in this conference. There's no horrible teams. Three years ago, this decision would be very easy. It would be Kansas. But because Kansas is much improved, I am not picking them. I am picking, and it's kind of a low blow. It's low hanging fruit. But it's going to be Houston. Now, Houston did just join this conference from the American. In this scenario, they would get booted back down. You could argue maybe there should be like a five or a six year grace period when it comes to teams joining conferences. You should give them a chance to stabilize themselves. But it's just like, who do I pick? I, I don't know who to pick. West Virginia, Pittsburgh, maybe. It's like all these teams are so average. It's very, it's like flip a coin almost. So I am going with Houston. I know it's unfair, but they, they did have a decent run about four or five years ago. Recently, they haven't been nearly as good. They did, you know, get a relatively new stadium. So that's a positive for them. But the Big 12, it's just so hard to pick a team. But this is an interesting one in terms of the team I would have joining the Big 12. It would be Boise State. Now, originally I was going to pick Memphis, but I just think Boise State fits the Big 12 a little bit better. You get a team out in Idaho. It's cool for the conference. They've got a great home field advantage, the blue field. It fits the Big 12, and they have a very nice football pedigree. They could be competitive in the Big 12. I think this team, Boise State, in a really good year could potentially win the conference because there's no crazy high-end talented rosters to where a team like an Ohio State or an Alabama is going to out-talent you. They really don't have that in the Big 12. So Boise State to the Big 12 would be a very intriguing option. Technically, if you wanted to go with the team that would make you the most money, you could argue it would be Memphis or maybe other teams like a UNLV but I am going to go with Boise State. We've also heard the rumors that San Diego State could potentially go to the Big 12, so that could be an option as well, but in this scenario, San Diego State would be going to the ACC. So this was just a fun little exercise. Maybe I should do something like this for a dynasty in NCAA 25 where I relegate one Power 4 team each year. Imagine if you were forced to relegate one team every year in each conference. <laughs> that would just be ridiculous, but certainly it, it would be kind of cool to do like, you have to, you're forced every single year to knock one power four team down to a group of five conference and elevate a group of five team up. 
I, I do think a video would be better if, if I did every conference every year, but then there would just be so much movement. I don't know. Maybe I'd put Indiana in the MAC. Maybe Indiana could win the MAC, but uh, either way, it's just a fun little exercise. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.